Welcome to Rotoway Quick Hits uh, Wednesday edition here. Uh, big thing today, not a lot of news really for tonight's slate of games. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff for tomorrow. We'll dive into that. But really today, pretty much status quo for a lot of the teams. Uh, we'll start off then with the netminders here that are confirmed, not confirmed to for tonight's five game slate. Miko Koskinen against Frederick Anderson. No surprises there. Martin Jones continues to hang on to the number one job and he'll face off with Jordan Bennington. Kapo Kakinen gets his first start for the Minnesota Wild. He'll be in action tonight, likely against John Gibson, but no confirmation out of the Ducks at this time. Darcy Kemper is your starter. Robin Leonard was the first goalie off the ice, and normally we would use that to confirm at Rotowire. Um, but they have talked about the fact that he hasn't really been on the ice at all uh, pregame. So some question marks there, but probably Lerner a little too soon for us to confirm that one. Carey Price gets the start for the, the Habs tonight, and we're guessing it'll be Braden Holtby there. Again, no final confirmation on that, but looking that way for them. As far as all that news for tomorrow goes, look, Andre Kasha out indefinitely at this point. That's a big concern for a player that has had some concussion issues in the past. There are concerns that this is related. This will open up the door for Nick Ritchie uh, and Jack Studenica to get some more opportunities possibly, or even Chris, uh, Chris Wagner can move into a more, or Craig Smith rather, can move into a more prominent role here. Uh, speaking of Boston on the back end, Grizelchek, Matt Grizelchek expected to be back in the lineup tomorrow. Uh, that'll help shore up their defense. Mika Zabinijad expected back for uh, the Rangers, and they'll face the Penguins on Friday. Uh, so that's good news for them. Took what they call the maintenance day today, but then they also talked about him having both upper body and lower body injuries that he's dealing with right now. So definitely one to monitor. Tim Stutzley likely going to be out. They didn't completely rule him out. Doubtful tomorrow for the Senators. And then Patrick Laine is uh, doubtful again. Took a quick twirl on the ice today, but no real indication that he is going to be back right away. That means Matthew Perot continues to fill that top six spot for the Jets.